Okay, so I'm just going to cut to the chase real quick. Um, this tutorial is pretty much just, um, I guess, like a part two to this video by Low Spec Gamer. Um, he, only, he has a little bit more like subscribers than me, but uh, I don't think he'll mind. So, anyway. Um, what he does in this video, he tells you to use the NVIDIA Inspector, um, which you can download here. Um, I'll put a link in the description. Just like he does, he puts a link in his description. Um, so, what you might notice... When you open NVIDIA Inspector, is this video was made in like 2017. There is no button. He tells you to click on this button. That button does not exist anymore. And this is true. This is tragic. Um, I see the tears running down your cheeks right now. You're wondering, oh, oh god, oh gosh, whatever will I do? Well, fret not. You're not the first person to cry and sob. These people cried before you. So they mentioned they put a big red box around where it's supposed to be. There's nothing there. Um, option one is downgrading to a previous version. Option two is a different program called NVIDIA Profile Inspector. That I'll also provide a link to. That is right here. And I'll give it to you. I'll give it to you for absolutely zero dollars as a matter of fact so we're just going to go through that and another i guess addition to that is a comment by unbind all so um in the video he tells you to set a value to blah 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 78 he says that 0020 worked a bit it worked well so we're gonna we're gonna expand on that a little bit. We're gonna go over to his channel. I'm gonna subscribe to him. He makes slime videos. So shh. Now we're gonna go through, and we're gonna actually go through what he does. And now now you can do it too. Now you can follow along. So we go to the profile inspector. Wait for that to open. Remember, we don't have the we don't have the best PCs, so we're gonna go here. We don't want to go through a bunch of menus. We don't want to go to a bunch of menus. We're efficient people. We go Dark Souls, and then we remember which game we care about. It's Dark Souls Three. I say we care about it because Elden Ring hasn't released yet, and none of us played the network test because. We don't have good computers here. So, something he just tells you to do is maximum pre-rendered frames set to 2. I didn't notice much of a difference in doing this, but you might. So, just keep that in mind. The thing that's actually important is an anti-aliasing transparency super sampling. Um, I think by default it's off, so... You go down here and you can identify it because it's the it's the smallest brother it's the smallest little brother but it packs the biggest it packs the biggest punch for our case it packs the biggest punch and that's mode replay mode all and once we go down here once we go down here we can go in texture filtering lod bias dx that is where we can start playing with numbers so the absolute lowest most bottom you could go is blah 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 70 that's what he goes in i think you go further in this video you'll see like stuff there's stuff missing and he goes to read a message there's no message there and that's what this guy was saying is that um, if you want to see fire and transparent and transparent enemies, make them not transparent, then 20 works. Um, I can do one better. I can I can do just one better. I have gone to 
this many zeros and 30. And I'll put all these values in the description. So just experiment with them. They're fun. The default values, I wouldn't even bother. I tested them. This guy tested them too. They don't really do that much of anything, at least as far as I can tell, as far as he can tell too. So with all of this out of the way, let's uh let's hop into Dark Souls 3 with my settings with the uh, Kotagra Kotagi official settings and see see what our results are. <sighs> nothing 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 to brag about really. Of course not. So yeah, I'm just gonna cut out this waiting bit. All right, so first I'm gonna go to Firelink Shrine on one of my characters, just for the sake of showing off Firelink, because you're in Firelink the most, and Firelink is probably the laggiest area in the whole game. I, there's probably somewhere that's lagging here. I'm trying to think of it, but I can't waste too much of my brain power on something that. I can think of that later. So, welcome to Firelink. We have we have all the boys here. Oh, and you can see that um, you might have missed it. You might have to pause the video and go back. But yeah, sometimes your legs, sometimes there's just rainbow stuff. It doesn't really get in the way. It just looks kind of funny. So I wouldn't bother with that. So if real quick we just. We drink, we drink a little, we have some refreshment. We can see my preference. So, you might have a hard time seeing it unless it's from like this angle. But, we can still see tears. So, in Tears of Denial, um, at the max 78 setting, you can't see Tears of Denial, you can't see fire or anything. And that's bad. So, we can see Tears of Denial. And so, like, if someone has Obscuring Ring on, or if they're cosplaying as some furniture in the map, you can still identify them, and you can still do your little point-down gesture to remind them to use that, like, that dragon ring that hides the tears. Other than that, the with my setting, the fire that's on the ground, like... And when the dragons breathe fire and there's fire on the ground, that still doesn't show up. But that doesn't happen too often, from what I know. So it doesn't. I ha I haven't had any issues with like not being able to see something. So I think that's mostly it. Um, just one more thing to show off that I cannot show off in a timely manner on this character. I want to show off weapon buffs. See what weapon buffs look like. And by see what weapon buffs look like, I mean see look what lightning blade looks like. Or I guess just pine resins. <laughs> so pine resins are a little weird. They're not incomprehensible. We're not dealing with uh, we're not dealing with Lovecraft here, but if I can just stall for a little longer while well, we're getting through a load screen. Then I'll be able to show you for myself. For myself. Alright, so we're here, and this little man, this little man right here, and I'm just showing off a weapon buff. Um, you can see, you cannot really see the lightning unless you're like from a certain angle. Can't really see the lightning that well, but it does emit light. And it does make that obnoxious lightning sound that I'm sure you're very familiar with. A little rainbow thing too. So it does all of those things. So I think in most scenarios where you would be paying attention to a buff, then you're probably going to notice if they have lightning blade on. And yeah, that's really it. I feel like if you die because you didn't, you couldn't see the buff here. And you would have seen it if you didn't have this on, then you probably would have died anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. But yeah, I think that's all. 
Got to show a little fighting action. And there you go. And anyways, that was my tutorial on how to get the deep battle axe. Thank you for watching, and I'm out.